Hello everyone. Today we are going to see demand patterns and dynamic analysis of network or extended period simulation we can say. Uh, in the last lecture uh, I mentioned that we will be covering the topic of links but before that we need to understand this demand patterns because uh, that topic can be more clearly covered or more appropriately covered after uh, you know how to perform the extended period simulation. So let us quickly go through the network with uh, three, eight demand nodes, one tank, one source and one pump. Uh, this is a default <coughs> network. Um, extended period simulation is performed in order to get a better picture of or a realistic picture of the performance of water network. So let us see how if I simply run the program, this is a steady state program. Okay, so now I have to convert it into extended period simulation. So quickly we'll go into data. Here you have to select options and times. So you can see the total duration of simulation is zero. We need to change it to 24 hours. Say 24 hours. For first 24 hours we are performing the simulation. Uh, even you can set it to 48 hours, 72 hours or total 168 hours or whatever suitable time you want. So pattern time step is 2 hours, hydraulic time step is 1 hour. So this is, these are the default values for this particular network. You can change these values as well. So we have fixed the value of 24. Now what we want, we want a demand pattern or a curve that can be embedded into the node. So let us go into patterns. As you can see pattern 1 this has already been given as a default so let us try to create one more demand pattern ok sorry let us quickly fill the values So this is how you fill all the values in demand pattern and so on. So a typical curve can be drawn which may somewhat look like this. First peak is between 6 to 8 in the morning and the second one here is not visible but there should be a peak, small peak in between uh, in the evening time 6 to 8 pm. So okay, this will give me the extended period simulation. Now I'll go into maps. Firstly, I'll run the program. I'll go into map. As you can see, no values are selected. So I'll be selecting pressure. All these things we have already seen in the earlier lecture as to how to get these nodal values. Now I'll run the extended period simulation and see how these values change with respect to time. So you can see time over here and my simulation has started 5, 6, 7 and you can see the values are also changing for pressure with respect to the demand the pressure is also changing. So this is how you perform the extended period analysis of water network. So in the next lecture we will cover links and some portions of links are better understood with respect to extended period analysis that's why we are we have quickly covered this topic i hope you have understood we can again change these values to demand if you want demand change in demand values with respect to the time so you can see the demands are changing even you can plot a graph of pressure values suppose for this node i want the pressure values over the period of 24 hours I'll quickly go to mm, no something is wrong time series pressure yeah you can see the pressure value first it when the demand is low the pressures are high as the demand increases the pressure goes on reducing this is 3d selected which is not an appropriate visualization this gives a better picture pressure with respect to time for node number 12 you can see the peak is obtained somewhere between in the afternoon 
between 10 and 15 okay so this is how you perform the extended analysis even for tanks you can get such a graph yeah there you go this is for tank okay so i hope you understood this concept in the next lecture we'll be covering links types of links and some new things that you haven't learnt as of now thank you